Hey guys, so today I wanted to add a lot of value to you. Um, so I've been spending the last you know six months-ish here in my garage manufacturing business and uh, really trying to um, get to the point where I'm making consistent quality products. And so today I wanted to tell you about how I make my um, wood products and the steps that I've gone through. I've learned quite a bit from YouTube and so I wanted to give back a little bit to you. If you are making stuff out of wood, here is how I um, make and finish wood products uh, to a high quality standard. So um, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'll show you a little bit. Okay guys, so the very first step in my process, uh, raw material here. So I used to make, um, so the product I make is candle holders. I'll show you a finished candle holder right here. Um, so pretty much these are for um, Bath & Body Works three wick candles. So you can set a candle right in here and just adds a little something. Um, I wanted to start off making as simple products as I could. And so starting here with raw material, um, this is actually a poplar board. These are made out of oak, um, but this is what I had right here. So um, I use the uh, blue tape and super glue method for my CNC machine. So I um, used to make, uh, used to cut these into little, um, you know, six inch and make one at a time on my CNC machine and decided to try to make eight at a time. So I would have two boards like this and I bought uh, just a, a little, uh, I don't know, quarter inch um, piece of um, it's not plywood, MDF here. And uh, so what I do is I tape, um, I'll run a bead of tape along this side and then this side, and then I'll put tape on the MDF board here, two strips, and then I will use a Gorilla Glue or Super Glue and glue those down. And so you can see a finished product right here. And so I have two of those MDF boards and you can see these are taped down and super glued. And then I have um, a, a waste board on my CNC machine and I use these little copper, um, little copper connectors, actually a little copper pipe. And uh, I put those, I have holes in my um, MDF here and then in my waste board. And so that's how it holds it down. And then I run my CNC and then whenever it's done, um, so you can see this is the first step. I do the inside and then I'll do the outside and then individually flip them over and I engrave the back um, with a little V-bit. Um, so you can see this one, not the best one I probably ever made. Actually, I'll grab a different one. So here's a good one. Um, so Findlay and Cursive. Um, so we did that in some of our software, pretty neat. Um, so anyway, we do our CNC, uh, pretty quick process. I have an old computer that I got here. Um, they come out and they used to look like this. This was one of my single ones. Um, that I need to rework, but a lot of times we'll have to break them out. I need to set my CNC a little bit lower, um, the bit a little lower, so it completely cuts it out and uh, just shows the tabs there. And then um, we'll have um, something that looks like this. Um, so this is, uh, you know, raw. Um, we've got some machining marks here, so that's why I have to sand. Hopefully I can figure out a way to improve that, but we'll have some rough edges here. And so I have this old sander that was here whenever I bought the house. And so we turned that on and uh, connected this hose for dust, um, but I'll clean up the edges and get it all nice and clean. And then the next step is uh, come over here and I just released a video about my little um, air sander here um, from Harbor Freight, a little two inch orbital sander uh, makes my life a lot easier. Um, so I'm not uh, killing my uh, hand and arm and back trying to um, sand everything by hand. Um, but pretty much I go through three steps, uh, different grits, pretty much 80, 120, uh, 220. And, um, and then I have the little sanding pads for this for the inside. So the inside is really hard to, to get perfect. And so that's why I bought the orbital sander. And now I'll really hand sand um, all the edges here. Um, so what I do is uh, blow off the sand with my air gun here. Um, before that, pretty much I would just blow with my mouth and then I would um, use mineral spirits. So mineral spirits is a great way um, to just initially get all the dust off. Um, I don't know exactly how or why, but it really does get all the dust off. Um, so that is my first step after sanding. I always wear a respirator for all this stuff. It's pretty nasty. Um, and I wear gloves, obviously. Um, so the next step is pre-stain. So I went through a lot of R&D and um, I realized if you just go straight to sanding, um, or excuse me, straight to staining, uh, you don't get, you get kind of blotchy wood. And so this uh, pre-stainer, um, pre, it's called pre-stain wood conditioner. Um, I just got that from Home Depot. Pretty much all this is from Home Depot. Um, that helps a lot. And you can see even that here, the different um, grains. So we have a, a darker one over here. And so anyway, that's just a natural thing, but 
uh, it really brings out the wood, gives it a kind of yellow color, but it really does uh, make a great finished product. Next, uh, stain, and so right now I'm mainly working on Kona, a really beautiful color here that doesn't have quite as much brown in it. Um, one of the, the best sellers for me personally. Um, so we started off with a bunch of different colors and really I'm trying to pare it down and really do what's really popular. So this, and then there's one called Carbon Gray from Home Depot that I really like. So that's Verithane, wood, premium wood stain, um, and really I just do one coat there. And so I don't have any to show there, but then I move over to lacquer. And um, so to really ease of use, um, you know, you got lacquer and you have polyurethane. I found that lacquer is much better. Um, for me personally, it dries a lot faster. Um, so you can do multiple coats quickly. And um, there's lots of information out there from actual woodworkers. I, I'm pretty novice still. Um, one thing I am finding in cold weather um, and super hot weather, the lacquer doesn't do super well. So it gets kind of bubbly. Um, so anyway, I've had to, to go through that. I think light, um, light coats are the, the trick there, but pretty much gives it a little bit of a sheen. You can see that's step one, uh, that's after one coat, and this is after two coats, a little bit shinier, you can tell. Um, and actually, I'll, I'll do a third coat as well. And in between the third coat, I sand with a 320, I believe. Yeah, 320 sandpaper. Um, and that just gets all the bubbles off and gives it a really, really nice feel. So you sand after the second coat, and then you do the last third coat, uh, which I don't have any, um, but you sand and then um, these little claws are called terry claws. I can't remember the name right now, but they're kind of sticky. And so that's a great way also to grab um, a dust off of, uh, you could use that here, um, but I think the Mineral Spirits does a better job and kind of conditions the wood a little bit. So anyway, that is my process. Um, so then I sell these on Amazon. Um, I haven't really communicated that. Um, but Amazon FBA is a great business model and so I put these in a little poly bag um, with a little insert card about myself and uh, Sell these for $19.99 right now. I'm thinking about actually um, Raising the price a little bit just because um, Right now I'm trying to get the economics to work. I, I was laid off from my engineering job And so that's a, a story for another time uh, But trying to start my own manufacturing business So I said let's start with the simplest wood product that I can think of I saw a lot of people doing coasters, and I said, ah, I don't want to do coasters. So what's something a little bit different? This, um, this ring, that, uh, the inside ring, is actually pretty difficult to manufacture um, on the CNC machine um, and to get perfect on the inside. Um, so anyway, I, I thought that might be a little bit of a competitive advantage, and people seem to like them. So, um, so I'll, I'm planning on doing um, different products in the future, but wanted to really share um, about wood and how I finish them personally because I feel like I've learned a lot from the YouTube community. I want to thank you guys. So, Hey guys, so that was about how I finish wood products here at Finley Products. You can find us on Amazon if you type in uh, Finley Products uh, candle holder. Um, should be there. Um, and anyway, if you could, I've never done this before, but if you could smash that like button. I know some of the YouTube guys um, uh, and subscribe would be awesome. Um, so I plan on putting out a lot of content every day about my lean journey and about manufacturing. So if you're interested in learning more, you can definitely do that. But thanks guys, and uh, have a great day. I also wanted to mention, I saw it in the, in the video, um, people might be asking some questions, what is this little picture here? I actually just did this today. Um, so this is actually a picture of Jesus that I really liked. Um, so I've been reading a book called um, Game of, The Game of Minutes by Frank Laubach. And anyway, it's a book about how you can practice the presence of God, kind of Brother Lawrence. Um, but anyway, I put that up to remind me, and uh, so as I'm doing these videos and working, uh, you can know that I'm a believer and uh, trying to um, practice the game of minutes and remember the Lord and work with Him in everything I do. So anyway, I just wanted to add that, and I hope you guys have a great day.